Thank you, Vince. Not your normal hit and run crash just south of the third ward last night. The collision involved a car and a horse drawn carriage. The horse, who didn't know better, took off. The car driver, who really should have, also left. Sharita Irves explains which one actually came back a short time later. This is Smokey. He's a Percheron horse who had a rough Sunday night. He was on the streets of Milwaukee pulling a carriage when things took a dramatic twist. Yeah, the horse was spooked. A man driving the carriage was traveling south on First Street, getting ready to turn on Seabooth, and witnesses say a car slammed into the back of the carriage. It was frightening. Scott Campbell saw it happen and called 911. The impact, you know, you hear this cracking noise, and it was just actually pretty intense. The driver was thrown from the front of the carriage. I think the horse really did break the fall for him. The owner of Milwaukee Coach and Carriage says the driver of the carriage had some cuts and scrapes but no broken bones. He went to the hospital and Smokey is okay. <laughs> Neighbors say cars speeding through the area is a big problem. They say some people are just reckless. Witnesses say the person who caused the hit and run stopped for a moment before leaving the scene. That was crazy. I mean, just to see that carriage flip and then somebody actually get out of the car, look at the guy and drive off. I mean, that's that's not right. The horse Smokey took off after the crash, too, but later made his way back home. As for an explanation for that, well, horses are smart. They know how to find their way back home. This is the first time in the company's history something like this has ever happened. And right now, we don't know, uh, we don't have a make or model for that car that caused the hit and run. I talked to the owner of Milwaukee Coach and Carriage, and tomorrow he plans to check to see if there was any surveillance video that may have captured all of this on tape. Ted? Glad Smokey's okay, Sharia. Thank you. The Brewers don't actually play until tonight, but there are some must see big league baseball holiday highlights right around the corner. Plus, this former buck is lighting up the NBA.